TexasLunkers.com. Uh, weather outside is not all that great today, so what we're going to do is go do a little bit of rainbow trout fishing. Uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife has stocked a pond down the road from the house, 5,500 rainbow trout as of yesterday. Right now the temperatures are right in the low 30s, and uh, wind's a little bit rough to be out there on the bay. So I'm going to go give it a shot over there at the pond and uh, see if I can't get a couple rainbow trout. But the main thing, every time I go out there this time of year and I see people trying to fish, these rainbow trout they got it all wrong they're using all the wrong you know type of tackle wrong size hooks wrong size leaders and uh you know they're fairly easy to catch if you know what you're doing so that's what this video is for i'm going to show you all how to rig up for these little rainbow trout um average size is probably eight to ten inches uh it's perfect butterflying and uh you know you might catch an occasional maybe a 16 inch or something like that from old breeding stock that uh, they're just turning loose but uh like i said i'm going to show you here how to uh how to create a rainbow trout catching rig so i call it basically it's really easy all you're going to do i got a little a little windy out there today so i'm going to use a uh, three quarter ounce egg sinker i got my line here i'm going to thread it through now i've just got a, a barrel swivel now, i had some other barrel swivels but they were a little too small they would slide slip through the eye of the uh the egg sinker, so um, I just had to find a larger barrel swivel. I'm just going to go here and, and tie a regular old fishing knot. You want to wet the line so you get a good slide down a nice strong knot. They're not going to be fighting too hard with these fish. Now the main thing I see people doing wrong out there is they use the wrong size leader. These fish got really good eyes and they're going to see your leader. So what I recommend, I usually use a four pound test leader, which is kind of weird. Usually you use a stronger leader, but this time you're going to use a smaller leader. I use four pound tests just in case there's snags or anything like that, but you can do a two pound. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to tie on your, uh, your leader line here. same way and you're just going to basically create a two pound test leader now next you're going to you have to try to find your hooks now occasionally you can find I don't even know what size they are I think they're number 12 but basically it's the smallest hook you can find the best thing I can do or best thing I've found I just go ahead you know I don't lose very many hooks on these fish so I'll just go and buy one of these small crankbaits like this they got the little bitty hooks on there little bitty treble hooks are perfect I've already got one right here you just take your pair of pliers Uh, separate you know basically just work it off of that uh, the key ring a little miniature ring on there pop that off now you got you your little bitty treble hook right there small as you can get it smaller better this fish have really small mouths uh, a lot of times I see people out there. Oh, this one's giving me troubles. A lot of times I see people out there. They're using these giant bass hooks, worm hooks, whatnot. This is the size hook that you need to use right there, the one that's stuck in my fingertip. Anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and tie it on to your little four pound test leader here. And uh, once you do, you got yourself a little rainbow trout rig, man. 
uh, if you picked up one of those crankbaits, you got another hook in case you lose it. You might want to pick up two crankbaits. Those little things are about two bucks a piece. But it just saves you the time going around looking for them unless you thought ahead, like I usually don't, and went online and bought them or something like that. But I just went ahead and bought me some crankbaits. No big deal. Time me another knot right here the hook on my two pound leader and there you got it right there Coming all the way back and we got this I generally make them about about a foot foot and a half foot and a half long down here to this now comes your bait Basically, you're just going to use this power putty, power bait, it's putty, comes in a chartreuse. You can get an orange, you can get this lipstick color. I do recommend the, uh, the solid putty as opposed to the pre-formed pellets because you just you get more with the, uh, with the putty. And I got a little trick here I'm going to share real quick too. I had this old, this old thing of pellets right here. You know, this is all they had whenever I went, you know, last year and bought this stuff. But, uh, you know, I used the pellets. Well, I went to check them out for this season, and uh, they were all dry, all dried up. And what I did is I just took a little piece of paper towel, wet paper towel, stuck it in there, and uh, I let it sit. I had to change it a couple times, but now they're all right back to their original state, nice and soft. So just a little tip. This is B-Rab, Texas Lunker, signing out. We will talk to you later. See you on the water.